In this morning's Business Insight, Tom and Chi started as a seasonal grilled cheese stand at the skating rink on Fountain Square in 2009. Co-founders True Quackenbush and Corey Ward walked away with 35 bucks in sales on their first day. Now, as the grilled cheese empire approaches its fifth anniversary on December 3rd, the company's 17 stores bring in $1 million a month, and they have big plans for the future, including food trucks and sandwich delivery. True and Corey started the business along with their wives, their better halves. Corey Ward and his wife Jenny Ratchford are in the studio this morning with Business Watch producer Kelly Leon. Guys. Thanks, Peg. I'm so excited to have you guys on because I love your product. Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> it is delicious. Um, let's start. Telling me, tell me a little bit about your, your beginnings because you may not be the textbook example of if I want to start a business, do it like they did, even though you were successful. You didn't have a business plan. This was t how, how did it start? Yeah, it was just, um, it started as an idea, um, something that I've always been very, like, is entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial minded. Um, yeah. Kind of always doing my own thing. Even like in middle school, I was the kid like running to the store, <laughs> buying a pumpkin for a dollar, painting it, and selling it to the neighbors for like ten bucks. <laughs> so it was an idea of always wanting to do something. And at the time, um, me and Jenny were living downtown. There was a lot of as when the city really started to come back to life. Um, there were a lot of events on the square. We would head down to, and it was always that sort of like, do we go home to eat before we head down there, or do we just go down there? And a lot of times we'd end up down there, there'd be no food, so we would end up, you know, sitting at a restaurant, like, instead of doing what we wanted to do once we were down at the square. So we just um, started talking about wouldn't it be great to be able to do food down there. Oh, my and gosh. And we started talking about different ideas. We reached out to um, Jen and True Quackenbush and um, just started talking about, like, what, what we could realistically do on the square. And so why grilled cheese? Well, we were really inspired by, you know, the family tradition of visiting downtown Fountain Square and visiting the ice skating rink during yeah. the holidays. You know, we envisioned families with cups of soup in their hand, a warm toasty grilled cheese, and just getting warmed up and full bellies and ready to spend their day out on the ice skating rink. And we just thought it's easy, it's simple, it's affordable for us, as well as, you know, selling to our customers. It was just the perfect choice. So literally from concept to putting it into action, this was a really small window. Very short window of time, yes. And, and I mean, you, you've been on Shark Tank. You've, tell me about that experience. Um, Shark Tank was a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> to a lot of people, what you see on TV is really how it happens, down to they make a stand at the end of the hallway, <laughs> they open the doors, and you start walking. And there's no, at that point, there's no cuts, there's no retakes, no one asks you to redo anything. And yeah. You kind of come out and you give your presentation. And a lot of people have asked us, like, how long was our presentation? And once you're in there, it's really kind of hard to keep track of time. But I would say that we were probably in there maybe 20 minutes, a half hour. But I know they've had people go as long as, like, two or three hours. And what was the result? Um, on the show, um, actually, at one point on the show, we had um, four of the five sharks were in on the deal. Um, we walked away from the show with a deal with um, Mark Cuban and Barbara Corcoran mm -hmm. for $600,000 for 30% of the company. And mm -hmm. then sort of after the show, we worked through the due diligence process. Mark and Barbara both sent people to Cincinnati. They saw our stores here. We sent them down to Louisville to see our stores. Um, then we, at that point, like, all the lawyers started to come in, we started talking through stuff, and we just had a point with Mark Cuban where we just had two very different ideas how to grow the company. Mm. He wanted us to grow in a more of a Chipotle route, where mm. all the stores were corporate-owned, mm. and that's that wasn't our intention. That's not what we went on the Shark Tank to ask for. So basically, to do what he wanted to do, we didn't ask for enough money, and we knew growing that route, we'd have to go back to them for more money, and we'd lose an even bigger hunk of the company. So we ended up actually just restructuring a deal just with Barbara, and we've been moving forward with her ever since, and it's been... It's been awesome. And, and you're opening another store, another new store downtown on Court Street as part of your fifth, fifth year anniversary, which is December 3rd. Tell me about that new store and what you have planned for the anniversary. It's so exciting. I mean, to be able to see the drawings and, and the ideas that Corey had for his perfect version of, of what our store, what we really want it to be, come to life. It's it's happening right now at 125 Court Street. We hope to be open um, early next week. So we'll be closing down our, our very first number one oh, store wow. and moving next door and, you know, looking forward towards the future. Um, yeah, the the... Founders Day and Tom and Chi Day, December 3rd, <laughs> celebrating our fifth anniversary. Awesome. Um, we'll have the mayor there. We'll be giving away free grilled cheese from 1130 to 1230. And we're really excited that the city wants to join with us in this celebration. Did you ever think when you had this idea, you know, people on the square sipping some soup, <laughs> Really? That it would be this? I, I mean, think he did. I think he knew all along. Yeah, I, wouldn't have, yeah, I wouldn't have quit my job if I didn't think we could do this. 
<laughs> well, congratulations. We're glad you're here Thank in you. Cincinnati. We hope you continue to grow. And if you ever want to come back and make grilled cheese and soup for our team here on Business Watch, we would Absolutely. welcome you with open arms. So. I think we could definitely do that. <laughs> we could yeah. do that. <laughs> well, thank you, and good luck with the anniversary celebration. Thank, thank you, thank Kelly. You. All right, thank back you. to you, Peg. All right, thanks, and I know what I want for lunch. Well, thank you.